I'm here in Monaco with William Wolfram of the e-commerce company Deal Dash, based in Helsinki. William, you're wearing Google Glass. Why? We think this is the next uh, big platform to build apps on, so all of our employees are getting two weeks with them and coming up with new ideas and what we can do in the future. And you're also the youngest member um, of the finalists here in Monaco. Um, is, uh, is it important to be young to build a fast-growing tech company? Not, not necessarily. I think, you know, we've just been super lucky having the internet and being born in a time where we had access to customers in the U.S. even though we're based in Helsinki, so that's something only the internet could offer. Uh, what do you think of it, though, all these, these sort of 50-something gray hairs here? Um, uh, are you, are you um, uh, ahead of them or uh, in awe of them? I'm in awe of them. These guys are 20, 25 years ahead of me, and you know they've gone through challenges that I've yet to experience. So I'm just taking all the uh, opportunity I can to go talk to them and learn from them. And uh, how is uh, the entrepreneurial culture in Helsinki now after um, Nokia imploded? Well, we've really seen an uptick. So we've got a lot of great startup companies. We've got the largest startup conference in Europe and uh, you know, a lot of venture capital activity and the best gaming scene in the world. So it's, uh, it's an exciting place to be. Um, people often, often think of the, the Nordic countries as sort of uh, technology savvy. How, how do you get viewed as, a, as an entrepreneur though in, in Finland? Well, I think it's changed a lot in the last uh, you know, five years even. So now entrepreneurs and startup companies is really becoming something that everyone's actively uh, promoting and, and it, uh, we get a lot of support from the community too. So it's a, it's a good environment to be. I'd say we couldn't have done it anywhere else. Uh, what are the biggest challenges of, of uh, growing up a big business in, in Finland? Well, finding the right people, and uh, you know, we joke that from June to August is recruiting season, so we, we re relocate people into Helsinki. We try to get them in the summer, but uh, that's probably the biggest challenge. And um, where do you uh, get your ideas from? Well, I talk to customers every day, and everyone in our company, whether you're working in accounting or software, you talk to a customer once a week, and we just listen to what they're saying and what their frustrations are, and we try to solve those. And um, uh, you've evolved this business. How, had, uh, were there any particular uh, moments where you, uh, you had the inspiration to, to change and adapt what you were doing? Yeah, actually the, the biggest moment was six years ago when I, when I lost 50 euros on a penny auction website in Finland and I had nothing to show for it and I felt really stupid and I went online and I, I did research and I found other people that had the same experience. So we came up with a simple solution to eliminate the risk. We called it the buy it now, get your bits back, and that really uh, made all the difference, and that's why we started the company six months later. You have uh, uh, operations in the U.S. as well as uh, Europe. What, what differences do you notice between attitudes to entrepreneurship? Well, we've got a very international uh, employee base. You know, we've got 14 nationalities and four countries. Uh, all of our customers are in the United States. So we pay particular attention to what's going on in the U.S. and what our customers want and what the other alternatives are for them. Um, but in terms of working culture, there are, there are a few differences, but not anything uh, too big, I'd say. Uh, what, are the, what are the plus points about um, European attitudes uh, to, to work and being in an entrepreneurial business? Well, you know, a lot of people said that we would never succeed as a small Finnish company in the U.S. that was way too competitive of a market. And they were probably right. You know, we had uh, very little funding working out of a tiny office in Helsinki, and we were going up against guys with $20 million of venture backing in Silicon Valley. But, you know, one thing uh, we joke about is that we were always eight hours ahead every morning before they had their morning coffee. So, you know, time zones can also be a benefit. Thank you. Thank you.